Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a very short video on logic design. And really, this video is going to look at a very small logic component. It's going to look at what's known as an AND gate. Okay, and the AND gate is, is a logic, we'd say it's a logic chip. Okay, and essentially the AND gate um, can take some inputs go into this particular gate and we get some kind of output so the gate itself looks like this gate so we can see here this particular shape and it has a curved end at the right hand side of it we have inputs going in and we have some output coming out so the basic I suppose AND gate will take two two different inputs. So we might have an input A and an input B. And these would connect into the AND gate. And then we get the output. And how we denote the output here would be A and B. So just a few things to note. So the gate itself, we can see that the edges, so it has this kind of square-like shape and then a curved end on the right-hand side. And we're labeling the gate. But essentially, this is simply a logic chip, right? So we have, in this instance down here, we have two inputs going in. And these are our inputs. Or we could say that these are our signals, right? And these can either be on or off and essentially when we have these turned on well what actually happens is um, the current flows down and into the gate okay and really what we should consider is well how does this logic gate actually operate so what are its operations well to do that we need to consider the truth table so we can show that this is this is what it looks like, but if we want to know how it works, well, we need to have some kind of truth table. So where we would have A and B. So if we want to have a true table, we can see that the, the notation that we use for the AND output is simply A and B, right? But if we want to have a true table for this, we'll construct a true table. So A can be true, true, false, or false, true, false, true, and false. And now the AND gate and how the AND gate operates is that we have true, AND with a true becomes a true, false, and anything becomes a false. So we can say that the output of this gate will yield a true only when both inputs are equal to a true. If any input is equal to a false, well then we're always gonna get a false as an output. Right, and we can see the highlight here, so the falses. So wherever we have a false, the resultant of the AND gate will yield a false. So this is their two input AND gate. Um, and we can simply see that we have two signals coming in. We turn them on. So when we turn on both of these signals, well then this should yield true coming out to the far side as well. So I think that should, that should make sense. Um, we can have also where we have many more inputs. So we could have a situation where we have an N input an n input and gate and this is where we would have all the way down to n going into our and gate and here we have the output of the and gate 
Okay, so I think the, the AND gate should be relatively straightforward. So just to maybe highlight some stuff or to go back over it, well, simply it is a very simple logic gate. It has two inputs and it has an output. Um, it can have more than two inputs as well. But in the standard gate here, what an input is simply some input into the particular gate where we can turn it on or we can turn it off. Um, and then we get the resultant of that gate. Um, so understanding how it works, we look at the true table. So when we construct the true table here, so the construction, um, and there's a couple of videos up on how to construct true tables, but here we have two variables, right, or, uh, with two inputs. So this gives us two to the power of two rows, which represent all of our options. And now we can see how we can construct this. So we would say we have two trues followed by two falses and then true, false, true, false, repeating in a pattern. So all this shows us is all the combinations of trues and falses. Okay, I hope this makes sense. If it does, if we're finished, well, what we can simply do is draw a little happy face to say that we understand what an AND gate is. Okay, thanks.